Hey singers, it's Laura. Do you ever feel like the areas of your voice, the different vocal registers, head voice, chest voice are like a million miles apart and every time you try to move between them, it's like clunking and cracking and very difficult to travel between? Well, that happens to me frequently. Today is one of those days and I thought I would show you an exercise that really uses the vowels E, U, and A ah to help move between low and high notes in a way that's more connected, smooth, and easy. So if that sounds useful, stick around. So this is the third video in a little mini series about vowels. I've just been obsessed with vowels lately. And the first video I wanna to recommend to you because in that one, I just break down what to do with your mouth to make each of the vowels really clearly, without tension, without overwork. And there's a little chart you can download that will show you just what to do and not to do with your mouth for each of the vowels. I will link that below. I'll put a little card up here too. Another thing is last week's video where I showed you how to use the closed vowels, E and U, to kind of take advantage of their natural forward high resonance to get started with your warm up. Today, we're gonna to use those same two vowels to start. So we're gonna use E because it, you can imagine in your mouth that kind of tilted tongue is making like a little satellite dish that shoots the voice right up behind the top teeth. E, a nice focused bright place to begin. And then as we slide to OO, we're gonna find more heady kind of dome resonance. So slide back and forth between those vowels for me, just to feel what I'm talking about. As I move between those, I feel like E is right here and U is right here. Now, if you don't have a lot of sensation there, just try and make the vowels in the most pure way and see what you observe. If you are not naturally someone who is paying a lot of attention to what you feel inside your head, maybe listening for the sound or seeing what you feel coming back to you in the acoustic of the room, that's a great way to observe as well. For this exercise, we're gonna start with that E to U and then open to AH without losing any of that headiness or without clunking back down into a lower register. Because as I said, we're gonna be taking advantage of these vowels qualities to help us move high to low to high without so much trouble between the registers. If you've ever felt like trying to move up, you're kind of blocked by a barrier that's probably resistance to getting into that more heady space. So we're gonna use ooh to help us pierce through. And then on our way down, we're gonna keep the palate really high on ah, Ooh, so that we can descend gracefully without clunking back over. So let me give you an example of what we're talking about here. If that sounds familiar, it's the NBC theme or my body lies over the ocean. We're starting with that major sixth. If you're a solfege type of person, the exercise is sol mi do, and we're going to do it like this. Now it is essential that you slide both ways. Don't teleport. You will not get the benefit of moving between the vowels. So try that with me. Slide the whole way. troubleshooting things to watch out for. Number one, make sure you're sliding. I know I just said it, but it's very hard for some folks to slide. Make sure you're sliding in both directions. You can think about kind of smearing through every possible microtone between those pitches. Cover them all. Really, really keep your tires on the road. Number two, work as little as you need to in the mouth to make e, u, and ah. You don't need to go e, u, just do the minimum amount of work necessary first with the tongue for E, 
Round lips. Ooh. Palette up. Ah. Let's try that again here. travel upward. Pay a little attention to what's happening in the jaw. The jaw is always wanting to help you out. It wants to help you sing a high note. It wants to help you sing an ooh vowel. It really wants to help you sing an aw ah vowel. So make sure that it's just staying in that loose position here. Don't let it over participate, especially by jutting out. In this process, it can just hang and be relaxed. Let's do one more. For me, I feel like I could tell that time my jaw was a little less involved in the top note. It was even easier to get that roundness and shoot right up into that nice heady space. So let me know if this is helpful. You can use those vowels to navigate you in between your registers. You can even use that as kind of a little trick in your mind. As you're moving upward in a phrase, if you're finding some resistance, think I'm moving toward ooh. And then as you come down, if things are kind of falling into your throat and becoming a little uh, dull, imagine moving toward E on the way down. So I hope this is helpful. Let me know what works out for you in the comments below. I really appreciate you spending time singing with me. So give this video a like, subscribe to the channel. I would so love to sing with you again next week. And thank you for practicing.